Following approval in the Senate, the historic stimulus package now moves to the House, where Speaker Nancy Pelosi believes it will pass. But there are lingering questions about how effective this legislation will be in the fight against the coronavirus. Lauren Blanchard has more from D.C. I'm not celebrating, though, until I can uh, hug my grandbabies. The House doesn't plan to vote on the CARES Act, a $2 trillion stimulus bill, until Friday. President Trump has already said he will sign it as soon as it reaches his desk. The House of Representatives must now pass this bill, hopefully without delay. And already some congressional members are talking about the need for a fourth package to help ease the economic tolls of the coronavirus outbreak. They say, well, why do we need another bill? We need it because the health workers working in those settings need it. We need it because of the family. An idea that doesn't sit well with others. If something's needed in the future, let's make that decision. But let's not make that decision without allowing these bills to, to be put into the economy. Meanwhile, as President Trump and the Senate are praising Wednesday night's 96 to 0 vote, some state and local leaders say the bill doesn't do enough, nor take into consideration each state's unique needs with the outbreak. The congressional action, in my opinion, simply failed to address the governmental need. I find it uh, irresponsible. I find it reckless. It's unconscionable to give D.C the least amount of funding of any state, especially given the unique challenges we take on as the seat of the federal government. On Friday, House members will have the chance to voice their opinion on the CARES Act before a vote. In order to cut down on debate and give members who can't travel another option, they have been encouraged to record a video instead of speaking live on the House floor.